Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, I've got to start this one off with a few shout outs. Uh, I've got a few subscribers who keyed me into the fact that this light might not be um, able to handle 10440s quite like the older i3Ts do. And um, got to shout out the YouTube channel Max Level EDC um, for bringing this to everyone's attention first. So I'm going to link his video in the description of this one. So definitely check that out. But basically, he uh, he tried a 10440 in the the donut i3t and it didn't quite uh, appear or perform like the older i3t's did so uh, i'm making this video to kind of add one more light to the sample size and test around this do some almost science as i like to call it <clears throat> and we're going to be using 10 440s from pk cell for this just because they're a relatively common uh 10 440 350 milliamp hour 3.7 volt 10 440s um, so we'll pop these in the, the newer version and the older version and compare output here on this white wall. See if there's any noticeable difference. Um, I'll take them outside as well. Um, if there is a noticeable difference here, just to see what it looks like practically. But if they look about the same here, I don't think I'm going to, um, take them outside, but we'll also swap the batteries to make sure that, um, it's not just like an issue of charge on the cell or anything like that. Um, and then I also have some 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate. 10440 slash AAA batteries from SoShine. And I don't know if these are 10440s or AAA because it says AAA on the battery itself, but then the listing I got these from said 10440 and the voltage is much higher than a standard AAA 3.2 nominal voltage. So yeah, we'll try these as well just to get another um, different type of battery and see if we can notice a difference. And yeah, I mean, if, if there is a difference and Olight did nerf this thing, I don't know why they would. I mean, uh, that's what kind of makes these things cool in my opinion. The fact that you can hot rod them with these 10440s and get crazy uh, boost in performance uh, output wise from these lights. And I mean, Olight, if you're Olight, you kind of covered your bases in the manual. You say only use AAA. So if, if dummies like me want to use other batteries, that's kind of on us. If we burn a hole through our pocket or whatever else. Um, so I don't know why, I don't know what motivation there would be on Olight's side to um, kind of regulate the output of these, but <clears throat> maybe it's some kind of legal thing I'm not familiar with. Um, but in my, in my limited understanding, their bases would be covered. You know, they, they say that, uh, or they don't recommend these, these lights in the I3T at all. So anyway, without further ado, let's, uh, let's test the thing. So yeah, we'll pop the PK cell 10440s in the um donut i3 t and then the older version uh this brown one here i mean it's an i3 t as well i mean same model everything should be exactly the same other than the color they're both aluminum etc etc see if there's a difference between these two um i really hope there isn't because i don't know why you would ruin a good thing but yeah look at that you can already tell there's the high setting. So yeah, I mean, does seem to be sort of regulated or cap it. Maybe it's a safety thing like for heat wise. I don't know, but <clears throat> that's confirmed at least as far as I'm concerned, it's not quite as uh... Oh, just to, just to make sure we've covered our bases here. Let's switch the actual batteries to see if, uh, that played any part in this. I really doubt it, but you know, we'll be as thorough as we can. And, um, I will also show the difference between the donut I three T's output and the triple a, because I do think it is, uh, well above the output levels of a standard triple a. It's just not quite what it could be if it was completely unregulated. So there's low in the donut, low on the um, brown or desert. So yeah, you can definitely tell it's the light itself. Um, something about it has changed. Um, there's a lot of washout or just the fact that <clears throat> camera might not be doing this justice, but I can definitely tell that this range is very similar looking, but I can tell that the older models of i3t do have a little boost, bit of boost of performance all right here we're in the backyard just to get a practical idea of the difference in output um, so we'll start with donut i3t right here this is on its low setting 
So that's what we're looking at with that PK cell 10440 in it, 3.7 volt, and the high setting. So still great output, nothing to complain about from a light of this size. But let's compare that to the older i3T, um, same battery, PK cell 3.7 volt 10440. This is low. and high. Definitely a lot of light coming from this tiny thing, which is why so many people like it, like myself. Um, let's compare the two now. So uh, we'll kick them both on to low. The donut's gonna be on the left, old version on the right. I mean, you be the judge, but I, I think the right the older version is a bit brighter to my eye anyway. Um, high setting. Next. Old version on the right. New on the left. I mean, I don't know. Uh, switch. I'll switch their spots too. It's noticeable to me, but not by a ton. I don't know. I still wish they would have just left it unregulated though. That's just my opinion. All right. The next thing I wanted to do was show that, uh, show the difference in output between the i3T with a standard AAA battery in it, um, versus the donut i3T with a 10440. You still do get a boost in performance. So you can see on the left, the donut i3T definitely outshining. Um, these are both on the low setting right now. We'll jump into high mode, um, with the standard AAA on the right. 10440 in the donut i3t on the left so um you know that actually looks fairly similar um this is still brighter to my eye anyway but yeah you, you do get a boost in performance actually yeah that's that's very easy to tell right there actually but you, you do get a boost in performance still it's just not quite the jump it used to be on the older um i guess the older iterations of the i3t so you're the type of person that likes to run the 10440s um, and get that crazy output out of the i3T. I guess you got to go for the older ones right now. And um, Olight, I don't know if you are watching this video on this humble little channel, but I would tell you um, just as a fan that I don't know that uh, a lot of people like the, regu the fact that this is regulated now. All right, next up, just real quick, I just wanted to try a different type of battery. These are the SoShine 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate cells. We'll try the, uh, just getting a little look at the output with these two batteries, just to get a little bit of variety, I guess, just cause we can. I think we're gonna see very similar type results here. So um, donut on the right, um, and then the older i3t on the left. To me, I can still tell um, rider with the old version on high. This really isn't the best way to show this, so I apologize, but yeah. In my eye, in person, I can tell that the, uh, the one on the right's a bit brighter to me. Um, so yeah, I mean, that pretty much confirms it in my book. Uh, there's something changed about this, uh, the internals of this, and I don't know what it is, but uh, I guess it's confirmed on my particular one as well. So hope that helps. Final thoughts on all this. I think you already know my opinion. If it ain't broke, don't break it. Uh, this thing was just fine. I don't think it needed regulation. Um, I mean, I. I'm, I'm just guessing here. It was probably done from a safety standpoint or some kind of legal concern. But yeah, in my opinion, you know, you covered your bases Olight by specifying the type of battery to be used in this. And so if people, consumers, you know, want to do something different, that's on them. That's on us. That's on me. Um, it's not. So I don't know. I don't know why it needed to, it needed to change, to be honest. Um, my That's my opinion. Uh, if any light did need to change, I would actually say it was probably the i5T because uh, people put 14500s in these lights. And um, I'll just show that briefly here. But my point in bringing this up is, actually here, I'll just show you. <clears throat> this is an older i5T. I've had this one for a while. We're going to put two 14500s 
same brand all charged up in both of these. And I don't think with the newer i5T that just came out, I don't think they put any regulation in this thing. Uh, and that is something I wanted to bring up because this light gets way hotter than the i3T does. So if safety was the concern, you're going to regulate these lights. I really think it, yeah, I'll show you that. This does not appear to be regulated whatsoever to me. Um, if any light did need it, it was the i5T. Um, let me just make sure we're... I think you only get one mode, um, but I wanted to kick it into... Yeah, I don't see a difference. So yeah, my point is, if that was the concern, um, I don't know why it didn't happen on the i5T. Really, if it was up to me, it would, it would be neither. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, people can just use their own judgment, but I understand that you know, I'm not the brightest crayon in the box and maybe other people aren't either, but I say leave the option to the consumer in general. But anyway, I hope this video helped confirm that um, this light does seem to have some kind of regulation now. I really appreciate you watching. God bless you and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for checking out the video.